Hello friends, welcome to you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss what are the services provided by the Tomcat. Tomcat server provides a host of services which are not provided by the normal web servers like Apache web server. When I say Apache web server, server then here I am talking about the Apache HTTP web server. And those services are like servlet lifecycle management, handle, wave request, database connection, pooling, clustering and high availability. So when we talk about the servlet lifecycle and handle request, wave request, then we can describe like this. A servlet lifecycle can be defined as a entire process from its creation till destruction. The servlet is initialized by calling the init method. The servlet calls service method to process a client request. The servlet is terminated by calling the destroy method. These servlet lifecycle methods are called and managed by the Tomcat server. Now next service provided by the Tomcat is database connection pooling. What is database connection pooling? Uh, it is a technique to allow multiple clients to make use of cached set of shared and reusable connection object. Provide, uh, objects providing access to the database. A connection pooling feature is supported by Tomcat. As we know that opening closing database connection is an expensive process and hence connection pool improves the performance of execution of database for which we maintain connection objects in the pool. It facilitates reuse of the same connection object to serve number of client requests. Every time a client request is received, the pool is searched for a available connection object and it's highly likely that it gets a free connection object. Otherwise, either the incoming requests are queued or new connection object is created and added to the pool, depending upon how many connections are already there in the pool and how many the particular implementation and configuration can support. As soon as a request finishes using a connection object, the object is given back to the pool from where it's assigned to one of the queued requests. Based on what a scheduling algorithm and particular connection pool implementation follows for serving queued request. Since most of the requests are served using the existing connection object only, so the connection pooling approach brings down the average time request required for, for the users to wait for establishing connection to the database. So that's the advantage of database connection pooling and that is supported by the Tomcat. In next series of video tutorial, I will show you how to configure database connection pooling. So that will be the practical example. But here just uh, I wanted to show you, I wanted to explain you what is database connection pool, pooling and this service is provided by the Tomcat. Now next service provided by the Tomcat is clustering. Tomcat cluster is used to manage large application. It is used for load balancing and can be achieved through many techniques. Apache Tomcat cluster is used to manage more traffic. It provides multiple instances of the Tomcat server with its content balanced between these instances. Now next service we have a high availability. A high availability feature has been added to facilitate the scheduling of system upgrades without affecting the live involvement. It is done by uh, it is done by dispatching live traffic request to a temporary server on the different port while the main server is upgraded on the main port. It is very useful in handling user requests on the high traffic web applications. So that's all about the services provided by the Tomcat uh, that I wanted to uh, explain you in this video tutorial thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial